Okay, Jerry. Now I want you to focus on the Champions League. Of course, you know you know all about it. You're in there. You're uh, co-commentating with Sky. And for many people over here, uh, one of the big, big ties. Well, there's two massive ties, but one of them, Celtic Juventus. What an occasion it is uh, for Neil Lennon. Well, first and foremost, you have to give credit to Celtic for qualifying, you know, and the qualify they had to be the first team to beat Barcelona this season in a proper proper game, and uh, I know they had to do it the hard way. They they surrendered probably eighty five percent possession to Barcelona, but they still they had three or four chances. They managed to stick two of them away, and that and at Celtic Park they're a hard opposition to beat. So credit the Neil, who I know very well. Credit the Neil and the players for qualifying, and as a result of that, they've. A fantastic tie against uh, Juventus, who they've actually played and beaten before. Now, this is a different Juventus side, though. They're really solid at the back. It's going to be difficult to break them down. As much as I'd love to see Celtic win the match, I think the best they can get out of this game is going to be a draw. Um, and that gives them half a chance going to Turin for the, for the second leg. Uh, but if you look at the second leg overall, if you had to plump, who would you go for? team that has the second leg at home is going to be the favourites in every one of these competitions. You know, Celtic at home to Juventus, then you think Juventus knows exactly what they've got to do in the second leg and you'd have to fancy them. But in saying that, Celtic went to Russia and I did the game and they won. They won uh, in Russia against all the odds. It cost Unai Emery his job at Spartak Moscow. So, you know, credit to him and good luck to, to Neil. They'll, they'll take a draw maybe in the first leg. They'd love to win, but they'll take the draw and then think we've got a chance maybe in the second leg.